strategy, planning, and importance of compliance. We now request the dignitaries to come on to the dais, please. Uh, CA Shubra Maheshwari, Chairman, FLO Hyderabad. May I request you to come to the dais, please? CA Abhay Kumar Chajat, Central Council Member and Deputy Convener Group for Promoting Financial and Tax Literacy ICA. <laughs> CA Dayani Sharma, Central Council Member ICA and Convener Group for Promoting Financial and Tax Literacy ICA. We now request dignitaries on the dais to join for lighting the lamp. on the dais and delegates to stand for Institute Motto Song. Request the Fiki FLO team to kindly do the honors onto the dignitaries. the gathering good morning everybody again as I've always said it gives me uh, immense pride and honor to be hosting these kind of sessions one we are the apex body of trade and commerce in the country today and if the apex body members do not understand numbers then definitely we are wrong somewhere and uh, Fiki flows mission is not just to work towards getting big celebs to you, but also teaching you ground realities of life, the nuances that every woman should understand. Money is a very, very critical factor in life. 
and if you can understand your numbers then you do not have to reach a shubhra maheshwari or a mr abhay or a mr daya nivas as a chartered accountant yes our signature is required but understanding of the numbers should happen at the ground level and that is most important you need to understand your finances do not wait for an adversity to strike i told last time adversity doesn't give an email notice and then comes it just comes better to be prepared and this year our endeavor is to get all of you slightly more empowered as far as finances are concerned and i'm very happy to tell all of you that uh, fiki flow has done a national mou with the institute of chartered accountants of india pan india so big thanks to daya nivas ji for facilitating this mou because of him this could happen and they are our knowledge partners for all the chapters across the country so every member of flow this year has access to the resources the bandwidth and the expertise of a chartered accountant the institute of chartered accountants of india my maiden body is the only body who is giving you certified auditors and accountants and we at flow are getting all these resources free of cost make use of these workshops make use of these learning experiences thank you so much for hosting us the high tea in the morning was so amazing i'm just worried my members don't fall asleep after those amazing food lunch is still there thank you so much sir thank you ma'am thank you for the address now i request uh, c abhay kumar chajan ica central council member and deputy convener of the ica group for promoting financial and tax literacy to kindly address the gathering thank you thank you very much uh, good afternoon to all the ladies present here i, I think it's truly an honor to be here and speaking in front of you and sharing our experiences uh, firstly of course my respected central council colleague and convener of uh, the finance and tax literacy group which was formed last year and um, i being the central council member who have entered the council this year it's it's an opportunity you know because uh, i have been uh, working with uh, dayanewa sharma and as a deputy convener and uh, you know we've done excellent work in ftld finance and tax literacy and we've been doing and i think one of the rarest opportunity we have today is to you know share our experiences actually you know the real experience of finance and tax literacy to all the ladies i'm sure we have two chartered accountants of course respected shubhra ma'am and nidhi ma'am i am told that both of them are members of the institute but uh, you know it's like we'll be really happy to share whatever best we can and it's an initiative of ICI that this year being the 75th year of azadi ka amrit mahotsav we are more you know making efforts and inclined towards reaching out each and every uh, member of the society whether you know you call uh, the housewives the ladies you know those who are actually not aware of the finance and tax literacy the investments the planning how to file the returns how to know what income tax returns are what are you know the dates the due dates what is society what is trust all those you know we are trying to share and tell them and reach out to every uh, ladies housewives and even the defense the policemen wherever we can through this azadi ka amrit mahotsav vitya gyan ici ka abhiyan so this is i think an, a very good initiative and i am i'm sure today also uh, both of us will share our experiences and would certainly like to be very basic because you know what is important is to know what is finance what is income tax what is what uh, you know what is gst just to give you an idea what is you know the employee related uh, issues when you, you have an organization or run an organization what do you face what is provident fund what is employee state insurance so all those i'm sure even the financial planning would be taken up by uh, the convener daya ji and uh, uh it's once again i would say it's an honor to be here and um, i believe this is the first program uh, at coe hyderabad where we have non members all ladies it's been last 12 years the coe pro is there and uh, big congratulations to shubhra ma'am for taking this initiative and tying up with us and of course with she already mentioned that we have you know already tied uh, tied up for across india there's an mou which is already signed and we'll do number of programs we've already discussed about the programs and national event or event across uh, different uh, uh, of your centers i think about 18 centers you have in uh, india so we'll try to have them not that we do it in next 3 months or 4 months but certainly you know try to cover them in next say 6 to 1 year time uh, where uh, from the institute i personally would get the opportunity to 
you know, reach out to uh, Fiki ladies organization and try to share our experience of income tax, finance, tax, investments, and make them literate and make them real understandable, you know, of things which actually on day-to-day -day you don't come to know. So thank you once again for coming here and gracing this very important day today and uh, giving again me the opportunity to be part of uh, this very important program. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the opening remarks. Now I request CA Dayanuva Sharma, Central Council Member ICA and Convener of Financial and Tax Literacy Group to give an overview of the program and address on finance strategy and planning. Thank you, Ram Kumar. Uh, I prefer to stand before all the honorable ladies. So, first of all, uh, thank you very much, Subra, for uh, making this possible. I think uh, we all have to give a round of applause to this lady. I'll tell you the reason. Is it working properly, uh, Mike? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you something very important. Uh, you know, I don't know. I think uh, two dozen times she actually ensured that she sends me messages, calls, and also where required, she complained about me to the president of the institute also. <laughs> no, that is in a good, that, that is, no, no, that is again a, a from a positive side, I'm just sharing with you all. But uh, the most important part is, Shubhra, that uh, taking this initiative and ensuring that you are getting signed the MOU with ICI, it makes a whole lot of difference. Let me just tell you a quick background of ICI also, what ICI is all about. But before that, thanks to Abhay also for uh, making it possible to flow down from uh, Bhopal. And uh, because this is the first event we are doing physical for anyone ever uh, on this particular program. Thanks to you, Abhay, for making it possible. It's always a pleasure. And I have two other ladies who are very close to my heart. One is my sister who's sitting there. Uh, in the last, I know her by name, Pinky Didi only. That is better. I always keep that in my heart always because uh, Raj, whose brother, her brother, and I have actually grown together. And today I can only tell you, I still remember 17th August is his birthday and 18th August I joined into CA. So that is a big memory which is starting point, which we all that time celebrated and uh, got into the CA. And another person is my partner Nidhi here. Though she was uh, chairman and uh, she always told me to do something, but uh, the timing was such that I was also busy with my elections and all those things. But yes, I think you also thought at a particular point so today we are here. Before I start, uh, let me just share with you all. The only uh, set of people who are non-chartered accountants ever come into this hall are no other person than 85 IAS officers of Telangana state, where we have given them a finance and tax literacy. But at that time, the FTL group was not formed. But two days, the chief secretary of the state and all the IAS officers were sitting in the same hall and actually uh, going through the entire learning experience of how the investment, tax planning and everything that need to be done. But after FTL, thanks to you all ladies who have made it possible to come here. Though one thing let me confess, Abhay and I when we were traveling together from the hotel to center of excellence, Abhay said I am little nervous. <laughs> so I said just go back to your college days when we used to go around the colleges of all girls. and. <laughs> But the timing is different. That's the only thing on a lighter mode. <laughs> the age was different. The uh, circumstances was different. But uh, before I, uh, we start the presentation on the finance and tax literacy, let me just share with you what Institute of Chartered Accountants of India is. One more chartered accountant has joined here. So uh, Institute of Chartered Accountants of India is a premier accounting body. And we are the second largest accounting body of the world. Uh, I can tell you one thing is the first, though it is first, we still rate ourselves second only to ensure that we always perform well and uh, move forward in a true spirit. And the importance of chartered accountancy is before the constitution of India has come into existence, the CA Act has come into existence. 26th January 1950 is the constitution of India. But ICI Act was formed on 1st July 1949 after independence. That is the kind of importance chartered accountancy has been given in this country at large. And the Honorable uh, late President of India, Sri APJ Abdul Kalam, 
has given one tagline to ICI, and that tagline is "Partners in Nation Building." So that is how we have actually worked towards the entire ecosystem of this country. Laws have changed, people have changed, ministries have changed, but chartered accountants over a period of time, though we see doctors, though we see engineers, MBAs and all, but the major contribution which has come from chartered accountants over a period of time has been very high because the laws have changed time and again. And we were the people who read the law first or might be we were participating in formulation of the law also and then when it was needed, we reached out to the business houses and gave them the entire knowledge of how the laws to be interpreted and the business need to be done at a larger level. In the recent past uh, two years back, uh, three, in the last term of our council, uh, we decided that why not we think about a finance and tax literacy drive. The nation is what the literacy of the nation actually gives. What I mean by that is, if you are planning for a $5 trillion economy, which is a dream of the Honorable Prime Minister, and we are also expecting by 2030 itself, or might be much before that, we are going to reach $5 trillion economy, and next 10 years, we will be a $30 million economy. And the kind of investment which are coming into India is huge. But the most important part is, when a nation can grow is, only and only when the citizens of the nation are understanding the requirement of tax planning, financial planning, how the things have to be. Just imagine for a moment, we have seen COVID and it was a bad effect. Though the government has given all the support, but the rich could manage with a lot of things. A poor could not. For a moment, if you think, in your home, you have a housemaid, a driver, right, or a security guard. If we had that knowledge and we would have guided people at right time that by investing 500 rupees, you could protect your life in form of insurance. Am I right or wrong? 500 rupees. That's it. They would have protected at least 5 lakh rupees or 10 lakh rupees for the hospitalizations and all. And they would have been more educated and sound for the entire process. Similarly, what happens is, when people like us mostly are running around for the work, we leave everything, we think about others. But the fact is, our husbands, our father, uh, women who are working women, they don't think about doing a right insurance in a right manner. At the right age, if you are doing an insurance investment, then the kind of premium is going to be very low. Sometime, I just, I am fortunate that I have a wife who has been working with the insurance company. But the fact is, she also ignored and I also ignored to take my insurance. But when a jerk comes, at that point in time, we realize that, you know, we would have taken an insurance. But the point is, how do we do this? Are we having that little knowledge with regards to what the protection of family can come? Because all you people, though you might be a businesswoman or might be a working woman, but the fact is, you are ultimately that power of family which actually protects the entire four diwari jo ghar ki hai na, wo sab aapke hato mein. Health of every family member is in the hands of a woman. So from that point of view, what we thought is, why not we think about reaching out to people? And fortunately, it was a very good fortune that Shubhra reached out to us, thanks to her. Because it is not only a financial literacy or a tax literacy which is important for a rich and famous. But it is very important if we are able to take this message to the bottom of the entire pyramid and give them an idea how they can protect their entire ecosystem. Just imagine, people who have moved from villages as a security guard, just go back 10 years. Just 10 years, nothing more than that. 10 years, people moved because in agriculture there was a lot of differences, there were a lot of problems which were there and people thought I'll be a security guard. But what happened to that person's thought process? Have you ever imagined? That person who was standing outside the apartments, outside a gate of a college or a school, outside 
a atm center that person was daily dreaming that one fine day i am not able to do it but can my children do it and just go back and see those people have put their children for the best education what they could afford is it real or not we are able to visualize it or not just if you would have held a hand and guided them that yes this is good for you and your family that person would have prayed for you i think in every corner every time he would have visited whether temple mosque or church and he would have said the thanks that our person has given me that guidance so that day has come where when we talk about the best education we have gone through learnings what we have gone through what parents have given us the biggest contribution can be just adding a little value to some person's life agreed or not so if we are able to think about this session is not only for you and your family but this session can be actually considered as a learning which you can disseminate to your people your people in the sense a housemaid or a driver or a watchman who is standing near you somewhere very close and when you add value to this people in their own way the kind of blessings we are going to get that is the most important earnings of our life that is how when we got this tag of partners in nation building and when we are talking about a 5 trillion dollar economy and the contribution with ca can put in in any person's life is this we are actually working for in this process we made this group of finance and tax literacy which is the first institute in the world which is actually thought about this kind of learning experience and you will be shocked to know government of india also does finance and tax literacy drives but the fact is we have created a website of ici which is ftl.ici.in org which has 12 different languages which is there just go and click which language you want to select you can select if you there is a book which is there and uh, i think close to 18 different subjects we have put in how do you save what do you save multiple things are there in that the best part is that learning is in form of three things one is a flip book model two is videos which are actually a story storytelling in the entire process and three is basically uh, you know a game which you can play and understand what it is actually saying so if you and that is in all these 12 languages so what i request you is whenever you get an opportunity and you are living in a you know apartments or a colony or somewhere if you are able to get those housemates closer to you and take that session i think this session will be then only successful this session will be successful only when you actually think about how your family is actually been planning the finances and rightly said by shubhra we don't know what kind of calamity can come and how do you protect isolate everyone in the family from all the kind of mishaps which can be there so the most important part is how do you first educate yourself and then start educating others so considering this background today we are going to have a little amount of discussion though i can only say on a lighter note that you are the first victim of the entire process so if by chance we both do any mistake it is only going to be our learning and your contribution to make us better for the next time right so thank you all thank you for uh, for making it to come today here and uh, i hope we will try our level best to ensure that you take away something good along with you thank you very much as you choice ye chair
Shura, by the time we start this, uh, there is a request from the president who said that we should be doing a national program in Delhi. And uh, we'll be more than happy if you all people can make it to Delhi so that it can be a treat for yourself as well as a learning process can be there which can be well planned in the beginning and uh, we can make it work. Ah, cheers, TC. You want me to switch off the other lights also? Yeah, no? Or just only like. Only request to Nidhi is she should not go and complain my father that I spoke something wrong. So you all have to ensure that. Uh, ah, that's the most important uh, thing. That's the reason I want to put a disclaimer so that I don't get into any other problem, right? Because what happens is uh, when ladies are around, no? Uh, the best part I'll tell you about a human psychology is that uh, no one is looking at you but you stare at people. But when people are staring at you, you actually get confused where you are actually. <laughs> so, let us uh, start with the discussion. Uh, the topic which was given to me is on the finance strategy and uh, planning. I am not going to take you in depth. I am just going to take you on the top of it. Might be once you give your input, based on that input, we can structure one more program. You all are always welcome to the center of excellence and uh, we can take multiple sessions. So the only thing was, uh, you know, always as a chartered accountant, when a person, a client comes to you, actually they come with only problems and they don't, they don't tell all the stories. The similar thing is done by Shubhra. I think she is badly impacted with her clients and she did the same thing with both of us. So she said, you decide what you want to speak, but you speak something good. So, the chartered accountancy ki language is coming. You can't do anything. So, my lady here, I told her that let's touch a bird's eye view. Let's touch a bird's eye view. Let's touch a And there is a very nice saying which is there. Failing to plan is planning to fail. I think that is, I should not be starting with a negative statement. But this is a positive thought which we need to create and move forward in time to come. It's better that we pass every time rather than, uh, you know, failing at any given point in time. What has been happening is most of the time, uh, are you all working women or are you a family uh, or a home? It's a both, right? So I'll use the language in general. So don't get offended if I talk in any other, uh, any message is gone to some other person in a different manner. What has been happening over a period of time is when you talk about financial planning, we all come from a family. Either your husband is a salaried person or husband is a business person. But the fact is, we all think in different form of, uh, you know, uh, contributing to them. But the only gap which comes is, I don't know what I should contribute. Where is that I can contribute? How is that I can contribute? The most important part is, a husband can only come and open up before a wife. Because before parents, you can't cry after a marriage. But before wife, actually your tear comes out. In the tough times, we, it's individually me I can talk about. Today morning I can talk about that I had a similar kind of situation and I'm talking in that context. That you know, what do you have to do? You are running every day, day in, day out, where you are coming, where you are go going. It's very difficult. You ask Nidhi, she'll tell. Her husband might be traveling across the length and breadth of the world. Similar is the case with most of you. But the point is when you want to contribute, is that right or is that wrong? 
is a question mark which is there. Don't think about wrong. Think about what is right. Because the intuitions work more than any strategy. You are having that kind of institution, uh, intuitions that no one can imagine. So that is how you need to think about moving forward. And you need to actually start contributing from that point that what is that which I need to understand? What is that I can contribute? What is that I can support? Example, my wife. I'll just take my wife example only for one reason. That how she contributes is basically I've given the entire administration of my office to her. So I am traveling across the length and breadth. You know, one of a very good HR consultant gave me a very good advice when I told that I want a HR person for my firm. He asked, what does your wife do? I said, she is an MBA. She is MBA marketing and she's worked in this, 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 this organization. This is what her expo exposure is. Then she, he told one thing. There, if you want to hire a HR person, there is no other person better than your wife. Because an employee might will is willing to talk to you but you are not available so who is the best person who can that person relate to is your wife when your wife goes and sits in office and asks what is your problem and just imagine you otherwise also are supposed to solve a problem but if she solves a problem the kind of connect she'll create with an employee right or wrong just imagine for a moment so let us think if that kind of contribution is coming, which is not financial, but a psychological, a human touch, which we are talking, that is the power of a woman, which I personally feel I learned that. So then the point comes is, when you talk about financials, it's more important. I'm going to touch upon certain very interesting things. How uh, effective it can actually become for your business or your family business in different form. Right? Let us take one of the most important part is what you should understand as being an entrepreneur or as being a housewife. The first point is nature and structure of various entities. What is nature and structure of various entities? Whether it is a proprietary concern, whether it is a partnership firm, whether it is a private limited company, whether it is a limited company, because every, and if it is a family owned business, where three, four brothers are working together, one father is there, it's become huge, and there is a kind of, you know, challenge which is going to come in their mind on day-to-day -day operation. Just visualize, I think you all will be actually thinking in that form. Just I'm requesting you to kindly visualize this when I'm talking. So the most important part, when you as an entrepreneur or you as a housewife actually have to understand, based on this, the equation of a person thinking will change. When you are running a proprietary concern, you are exposed to a high amount of risk of any failures. When it is a family business and your husband is working with the family along, the kind of challenges are totally different. So if you understand what kind of challenges are there based on the structure of an organization, you will understand what is the contribution that is required to be made by you. When you as an entrepreneur are actually setting up a firm, a partnership firm, you are exposed to multiple liabilities. Any husband or any family member, even your father, mother or your father-in-law, mother-in-law would not like you to get exposed to any kind of risk. Similarly, if you go for a LLP, in LLP it is a limited liability partnership, which means your liability is restricted up to a particular level. In case of private limited company and in case of limited company, the structures are different. Right? Now the third, second part is budget and planning. There cannot be a better person than you all people, whether as a wife, whether as an entrepreneur, because you understand the flow of sequence more than any other person can understand. So the budget planning requires a detailing of what kind of things have to be coming into a budget planning, whether it is starting from revenues, whether it means earnings. If I talk from a business, revenues. If I talk from family, it's earnings. From what are the my inflows? From where do I get my business 
income इनकम इन माई फैमिली दैट आई नीड वी कैन डिवाइड दैट वो तो आप लिख सकते हैं ना कहाँ से रेंट है राइट बिजनेस इनकम है या फिर इंटरेस्ट इनकम है या फिर कुछ और है वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ इनकम विच इज देयर सो इन द बजेटिंग यू नीड टू एक्चुअली डिफाइन वॉट इज माई सोर्सेस ऑफ इनकम वेरी क्लियरली इन दैट प्रोसेस यू विल रियली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द नेटवर्क ऑफ यूर फैमिली ऑल्सो वेन यू एक्चुअली सी देर इज अ रेंटल इनकम विच इज कमिंग देर माइड बी अ प्रॉबिलिटी आउटफ्लो इज माई इंस्टॉलमेंट एंड इंटरेस्ट राइट सो वैन इनकम माई इनफ्लो इज डिफाइंड माई आउटफ्लो ऑल्सो कैन बी अंडरस्टूड वेल राइट सो द बजट एंड प्लानिंग माइट बी वन मोर सेशन वी कैन टेक ओनली ऑन बजट एंड प्लानिंग ऑफ हाउ डू यू एक्चुअली इवेल्युएट वॉट काइंड ऑफ इनकम वॉट काइंड ऑफ रिस्क विच इज अटैच टू इट एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन यू नीड टू टेक एंड दैट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ यूअर्स इन यूअर फैमिली मैटर्स अ लॉट मैटर्स अ लॉट राइट देन वी टॉक अबाउट एसेसिंग फाइनेंशियल नीड्स एंड फाइंडिंग बेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ फाइनेंस वॉट इज एसेसिंग फाइनेंशियल नीड्स एग्जाम्पल फाइनेंशियल नीड्स फॉर अ इंटरप्रनर इज डिफरेंट बट फॉर अ फैमिली इज डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल आई हैव अ डॉटर माई फाइनेंशियल नीड्स आर डिफरेंट आई हैव अ सन माई फाइनेंशियल नीड्स आर डिफरेंट हाउ डू आई सेव वॉट डू आई सेव हाउ मच डू आई सेव और वॉट सजेशन आई शुड गिव इट टू माई फैमिली दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ सेविंग कैन कम इन टू प्ले सो दैट what kind of policy need to be taken what kind of jewelry need to be taken what kind of investment need to be taken is something which we need to really understand when i evaluate what kind of asset i want to create i can evaluate what is the financial need and how do i plan for it it's very easy not difficult aap sab itna serious dekh rahe hain to mero dar lag raha hai is it fine or uh, pakka चलो फिर ठीक है क्योंकि मैं भी ये लेक्चर पहली बार दे रहा हूँ ऐसा तो मैं बहुत दे दिया हजारों में दे दिए लेक्चर बट ऐसा लेक्चर मतलब आई एम ऑल्सो लर्निंग विच आई नीड टू गो एंड टेल माय वाइफ दैट यू आर मिसिंग आउट ऑन ऑल दिस थिंग्स आई वुड हैव एक्चुअली गॉट हर आई मेड अ मिस्टेक भिजवा दो बिल्कुल भिजवा दो सो फाइंडिंग बेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ फाइनेंस वेदर इट इज इंटरनल वेदर इट इज एक्सटर्नल इन एक्सटर्नल वेदर इट इज फ्रॉम अ फैमिली रिलेटेड और इट इज फ्रॉम बैंक और इट इज फ्रॉम सम अदर सोर्स which we need to really evaluate that is again a detail i am putting this all things i can tell you one thing each and every session can be for 3 hours each for making you understand what it means right till here is fine now what is sources of finance let us see this personal saving loans from family and friends where has been a biggest impact is this when it is success every person would like to come and give you money mera paisa rakh le bhai ya behan aur zara invest kar lo tumhare business mein when the tough time starts the first person who came and gave you money will ask you back the money am i right or wrong so easy but equally difficult you need to understand to what extent and from whom i should actually take that uh you know favor how do i do it what makes it if you talk about one family husband and wife husband needs a business or you are needing a funding for your enterprising enterprises and then you go back to your brother or husband or father in law and ask for money इनिशियली तो बहुत अलग अलग डिस्कशन होता है फिर बाद में दे भी देंगे फिर उसके बाद क्या होता बिजनेस कैसा चल रहा बिजनेस कैसा चल रहा बिजनेस कैसा चल रहा है राइट और रॉन्ग आई गो बैक टू माई ओल्ड चाइल्ड हुड डेज वेन माई मदर वॉज देयर माई फादर मेड हर गो टू स्टॉक एक्सचेंज एंड बाई सम शेयर्स ट्रेड इन सम शेयर्स एंड शी लॉस्ट मनी एट दैट टाइम and my father said this is the check go and pay so she was shocked she was in tears that are itne paise kharab ho gaye aisa kaisa hoga to my father said this is the cost of learning am i right or wrong 
this is how we actually have to think the failures can also make us feel more confident to do and take a bigger risk in time to come so this is one of the most important part in our life the second part loan from banks and financial institutions you will be shocked to know government of india has given i i don't know how many schemes they have launched till now in different names for a specific purpose 100 crore rupee is announced for women empowerment assume with the thought in mind that inko dena hai subra ko dena hai ke 10 20 crore subra hai to minister ke relative hai subra to unko dena hai to ek 100 crore ka loan nahi nahi theek hai bhej dena no problem but what has happened in the process is which we all have to understand this is a small amount of study which we need to do when you want to be an entrepreneur the government of india has announced so many scheme for women but no one knows and it was been used for that specific purpose of 10 crores and the 90 crores which is lying with the government because no one knows that there is a scheme if you are an entrepreneur you actually can put that application fit into the requirement and get that money at a very discounted price this is what flo and fiki has to actually work on come out with the kind of paper which gives you all because people cannot go and do research so it is important that you create the document of what kind of benefits are there when you talk about trading when you talk about manufacturing or you talk about csr activity or you talk about any other form of business when you support villages you know they do lot of hand uh, handmade work is there so you actually can do what you can actually make the group of 10 15 ladies from a particular state city town village whatever you call get them together ensure that you are able to go to that prepare a proper business uh, model give them and you make a store in the city which you actually these people can supply it to you so what has happened in the process it is creating entrepreneurship not only for yourself but for people who are there who are in need of that entrepreneurship get it so this is something which you need to really understand what the financial institutions and banks are giving us right example uh there was a new scheme which was announced for daughters what is that scheme how many of you know ah uh, bolo bolo ha ah, sukanya so out of so many people how many of you have used the benefit of sukanya account ha huh? staff स्टाफ के लिए खोल के दिया घर की बेटियों का क्या करे आई एम आस्किंग वन सिंपल क्वेश्चन मुद्रा लोन इज बीन गिवन टू लेडीज एट व्हाट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट गो बैक एंड चेक यू विल बी शॉक्ड इफ यू आर एक्चुअली डूइंग एनी काइंड ऑफ कंट्रीब्यूशन टुवर्ड्स अ विलेज वुमन वो सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप व्हाट इट इज बीन कॉल्ड वॉट काइंड ऑफ वर्क यू पीपल कैन डू कांट यून इमेजिन the minister to this is no other person than our uh, piyush goel ji who is also a chartered accountant all the villages they have made it handmade papers hand made this that and all is to be marketed by them so there is a huge amount of opportunity which is there so next is business relationship financing which is trade finance one company to other company right then we have private equity financing do you know that good amount of funds are available in the world which encourage women empowerment how many of us have actually explored sitting on a google saas bhi kabhi bahut hi baju rakhte hain wo to purana ho gaya ab to aur bahut sare aage honge i think if you sit and google in your uh, free time you will get to know what is this private equity funding is all about all the entrepreneurs who are sitting here i request you to kindly think about this for a moment explore this might be one more discussion we'll have it later then the government loans i talked about it with the second part 
then other sources of finance which is internal external short term long term all that kind of things which are there right till here is it fine chaliye next what is financial planning it is cash management and saving tell me who is better than a mother to do this who is better than a wife to do this who is better than a lady in every form to do this main aaj bhi yaad karta hu my mother used to actually pull out my money from my father's pocket and she used to keep it in one almara ke niche kuch paise uske piche niche paise what is this actually this cash management only it is nothing but savings only so if this is been extrapolated and actually put into your normal life or your normal business activity how do you pull out that money and push it towards something else rather than keeping it idle which is exposed for new venture rather accumulate to a particular level where you can actually think about doing something more then the credit and debt planning that is again a detailed topic that's primarily from our bank loan funding and all those things so let us not get into that at this point in time but again this is related to my previous slide if you go back and see private equity government schemes as well as bank schemes which are otherwise available for women entrepreneurs then risk management factor affecting business like fluctuation in material and steel prices how many of your husbands or you are dealing with steel or cotton or uh, any product today post covid the kind of fluctuations which have come in the business every business is actually shaken every business is shaken and covid has disrupted the entire way of doing business it's totally different now what we used to think and what is happening now is two different things when you talk about a retail store you have a jubong this that and everywhere which is been done online right and because of this volume game those people are getting at a benefited price whereas a retail store which is on one two three stores they are impacted badly in different form so the point is the fluctuation in material and sale price is impacting government policies everyone so many people or uh, i think the highest amount of population has actually thought covid has actually impacted them badly but there are very few people who started doing business for the mask for the sanitizer for uh, nebulizers for this for that from wherever they could actually they accumulated and they started selling it so many people whose business were stopped example electrical wale ka business hoga ye hoga ye sare log they started accumulating material from different part but they were creative not to stop but to move forward you as a housewife or you as a entrepreneur can actually think differently because we all are living a normal life we i am talking about me abhay who are actually involved in the regular activity but you understand where the creativity can come out from think from that perspective what are the new government policies which are coming up which can be a need of a family which can be a need of a society and contribute example flo very simple csr activity compulsory which is a requirement of the law you know what in the csr activity neither the companies which have profit know where to spend not the organization which need money know where to go and ask now two things if you create a csr entity or a advising or consulting entity by combining 10 15 people as a self help for yourself and then start creating learning because you are all people who are learned who can pull out these are the thousand list of companies which need to spend on csr and these are the thousand trusts or societies which need money so what is happening with your hand two things you are earning because you need to get certain thing for yourself also right which is management consultancy fees and what is the uh, you know what is the amount which is allowed as per uh, csr for management consultancy you know if i organize 10 crore up to 5% 
of that collection can be spent for administrative and advisory people you can actually earn that money in a ethical manner one two you are doing a good job of being an entrepreneur and three you are supporting a society am i right or wrong just think about it we want to do lot of charity but where will an opportunity come where you are able to do charity with earnings so government policies are something which you need to really think what is impacting then i i put it into risk management but just see if that risk is mitigated what kind of benefit is coming out of it then risk credit and liquidity crisis you all know what liquidity crisis is right how do you manage liquidity crisis you have to go back to point number 1 cash management and saving then only you are able to mitigate that risk of liquidity crisis for the family might be you create so chota 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 karke sona kharidte jao diamond kharidte jao jo kharidna hai aapke kharidte jao pati ko thoda sa ta do kya hone ka hai but this all will come back to you in form of some saving at a point in time when it is needed so if you put it from a strategy point if you put from a uh, sentiment point if you put from a commercial point if you combine all these things the only thing which comes out is a benefit for all you people right then international exchange rate fluctuation let us ignore this the most important po point which i request you all people which you need to go back and do or subra you need to ensure that all the ladies that should be a forceful attendance call a person from insurance and ask tell him to tell what all kind of benefits are there when you talk about medical property motor key man professional liability you all are going to be entrepreneurs or you are wife of a entrepreneur the most important part is that risk of professional liability or business liability when we talk about that insurance whether it is taken or not how much is it costing 30000 40000 but what is the kind of benefit you are going to add to your family because again i am telling you i am repeating again and again because people like us are running only we are not doing anything more than this but these all things can be a value add by you all people in the time to come in true sense right so let me take you to the next slide this is more or less the same thing which i have put it in different form i am covering all but this is finance strategy optimum capital structure optimum capital you want ac to be switched off low bau ac to the low che yahan pe problem ek hi hai ya to chalta ya to band hota it's freezing right तो आई ना ओके ऑप्टिमम कैपिटल स्ट्रक्चर डेट एंड इक्विटी इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल कैलकुलेशन विच एनी पर्सन कैन डू फॉर हिज बिजनेस और हर बिजनेस और फॉर द फैमिली आई एम कंबाइनिंग टू अगेन एंड अगेन फॉर ओनली वन सेक बिकॉज यू आर ऑल सेक्शन ऑफ पीपल सो अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ बिजनेस आर यू गोइंग टू स्टैंड स्टार्ट अप विथ your own capital if yes how much and if you are thinking to take a debt think how much how do you define a debt liability how much you need to take based on my assets which are there my backing which is there my cash flows my future cash flows are there that i can support in the entire ecosystem based on that a debt need to be defined I'll just tell you my personal example for all practical purpose. I purchase a property or I purchase a car. Initially, I purchase the property or a car based on my cash flow which is available. That means the balance portion I take it as loan. One thing which I have made up very clear in my life is, if I have a loan, it should not be there for more than two years, and the two years loan should be equal to what you know. If something God forbid happens to me. one section of my property my wife sells 
and pay, pays off her loan so that she is debt free so that property or anything asset which is going out also is to a level where the balance assets are protected so debt to be planned in such manner where i am not exposed or my family is not exposed to a level where the entire thing comes as a stress and most of the time in the recent past from last 15 years people have made this planning miserable planning and that is why you see all the scams coming out all the frauds coming out where people have exposed themselves to a loan which they could not ever pay back so what you need to understand is if i take a business activity i am an entrepreneur to start with i am investing or my family is investing what say 50 lakh rupees but the business need 1 and 1/2 crore so now that 1 crore which is there you need to actually be very clear what will be the source from where if god forbid this business fails god forbid we are doing business to do right only but some impact comes is it going to go as a problem to my family and how it can be isolated right then financial stability and flexibility i need not tell what you need to do i have already covered in my previous thing always think when you are an entrepreneur that in your bank account not less than 3 months salary rent and my recurring expenses are lying that means if my turnover is zero 3 months i need not bother about paying to my staff because the staff loyal kitne rahenge jo tum tankha nahi denge to bhi rahenge tumhare sath right so the point is how do you define this entire process is something which you need to really evaluate see there are many things which i continue talk talking on various aspect but the point is how do you actually you know uh, visualize your life and put that entire thing into a right perspective is something which you need to really think about management and usage of funds is again we have covered here there and otherwise but again as i was telling if it is budgeting or it is financial planning it is having a different section we are just today opening up our mind to think what we can do more how do you think how do you think that you know your equation or your situation today can be evaluated in a particular box you put it in four quadrants in that four quadrants where do you stand and what are those four quadrants what is the exposure what is the risk what is the asset and what is the liability example then let me just take you to the next point systematic saving planning i you talked about uh, new india dream new india dream is nothing but women empowerment women empowerment women empowerment and more importantly what kind of benefits which are given to lady entrepreneur or children for that matter is something which you need to really think about that is one important part investment planning one request which i have is don't depend only on the banker who is advising come to people like me who failed in investments also to hum bolenge ye mat karo baki kya karte aap dekh lo correct so investment planning is something which you need to really think about what do you want if your daughter is 10 years old 15 years old when she is going to get married what is her education which is required if she goes abroad what kind of savings i have done what i need to plan that is one side of the story second point is the person who is a entrepreneur while working if you reinvest back entire thing into the working capital you are not going to create an asset what you need to do is example buy a office space buy some jewelry buy some asset which actually puts out profitability jo aata hai na profit aane ke baad usme se ek portion nikal do aur usko investment mein dal do and that should be a commitment investment what may come you don't spend but that investment has to be there so that planning is something which you need to really look into starting point today now is a starting point 
what is gone is gone but that experience of what gaps we could visualize we can put it in a piece of paper and we can evaluate from where do i start the entire process of redefining certain things there is no point that you learn every day it's a, it's actually a learning every day something you need to unlearn something you need to learn and something you need to start learning means start doing something so the starting point is when you are actually strategizing your business need or family need you need to really be very clear what is the important factor what is the important factor what is the important factor what is the timeline of that important factor whether it is 10 years from now 8 years from now 5 years from now what will happen is aap to agar housewife hai do aansu la lo pati bichara garib aakar bole nahi nahi ye paise rakh lo aap agar aap entrepreneur hai so for that you need to be um, very tough to pull out that money out of the system to invest it back in some form goal settings also i have touched upon effective saving strategies this is all different words rather i can put it of what discussion i am having with you all right then investment planning strategy ye chhod dete hain thoda wo hai rendu chalo investment planning process as i told you the example what is investment planning process i have explained what is a timeline how do you do it what do you do it what is the purpose of doing it define the purpose first then automatically things will actually start initiating then risk tolerance i talked in different languages about the risk tolerance primarily what is that i need to be calculated you know what is the impact which can come example i'll tell you very simple recently i'm giving you my example so that you all appreciate or might be not that i'm just going to try to boast myself don't go with the value don't go with anything it is only an example example i purchased a property recently i took a loan as i told 2 years is the target but third thing when i was signing the loan document this person walks in before me and says sir this is a insurance which you can take i said what is the insurance he said sir it is 7 lakh rupees for the tenure of the loan but you need to pay it today and we are ready to fund i said okay next my wife was standing next to me because she is a joint owner in the property so we were signing both of us were signing then this guy comes up and says sir uh, if this is primarily uh, from a point of view that something happens to the buyer the bank the insurance company will take over the entire loan pay it on your behalf and your property will be free then i asked i asked him was okay this is also fine but i am actually planning uh, planning to make my payment within next 2 years so this person comes and says sir that is also okay you pay it today after 2 years when you make the payment of loan the balance 5 years money which we have accumulated will pay you back then i just looked at my wife and asked what do you think she was little lost then i told this person that look uh, do one thing call me tomorrow i'll tell you what need to be done went back home home we were discussing i said something happens to me then or every we don't know what kind of life we are living in any day any time anything she said that you know we can pay this money but that's not a problem we are getting a loan for this that's also not a problem but the fear is that if i lose you you understand this is a wife this is a mother of the indian culture what we live in and i think all big round of applause to all you people for contributing to our life from my side this is how we need to think you need to just detach yourself for a moment and think yes there may be a probability that this can happen so let's actually start thinking from that perspective then investment preference is basically based on every individual person 
then you have investment products and markets which is again i am talking about insurance shares mutual funds you know uh, multiple other factors which is monthly as sips or whatever you talk about that is their investment portfolios what kind of portfolio you think should be there whether it is in form of property in form of jewelry in form of uh, you know uh, fixed deposits in form of a uh, loan given to a friend right with a better rate of interest or it is in form of something so you need to evaluate my income when it is coming how do i distribute this income for my spending minus all my money is only for the purpose of my portfolio it can be a insurance policy taken for or a investment policy taken for my son or a daughter in time to come when they grow up to 18 years when they grow up to 22 years what kind of benefit that can become that lump sum money can actually be a value, value add to the family itself so you have to think from that kind of view, uh, point of view investment portfolios how do you create that is again a different discussion that can be ha ha uh, that can happen portfolio reorganization if you already have reassess if you already have whether this money which you are investing in this particular portfolio whether you require that or you have to change that based on today's need or based on tomorrow's need right then fixed investment preferred and this is all put in right then wealth maximization is profit maximization maintenance of liquidity proper utilization of funds meeting of financial commitments all put together if you actually put a right budget in your mind right inflow right outflow where is my outflow going in form of expenditure in form of investment how it is going right so this is the one then uh, this chart you all should take it this is i copied from somewhere i don't know i downloaded which i liked it so i'll na ppt de denge hum aapko so you can use this ppt rather than Uh, saving rather you keep this ppt on your uh, dressing table of desktop or wherever right so i hope i could cover certain things on a commercial side certain things on a sentimental side and certain things on reorganization side if you think there can be any questions you can ask me but yes this was my last slide to give you all a thought to live you with something where you are you are you know you are all empowered you are all having that authority from your family side to take certain decisions take it make mistakes no problem but if it is with a good intention i think we all will move in a different direction wo ek kahawat hai na विष्णु का नाम भी बाद में लेते हैं बालाजी का नाम भी बाद में लेते हैं पहले लेते हैं माता जी का नाम तो यू ऑल आर दट पावर होम वी प्रे फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग टू इवनिंग फर्स्ट इज अ लेडी पावर एंड दट एक्चुअली प्रोटेक्ट द एंटायर एनवायरनमेंट ऑफ द इकोसिस्टम एंड रियली थैंकफुल फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू बी विथ यू आई ट्राइड माई लेवल बेस्ट बिकॉज दिस इज अ टॉपिक विच आई एम स्पीकिंग ऑन द फर्स्ट टाइम यू टेल मी एनी अदर टॉपिक आई कैन कंटिन्यू टॉकिंग आर्स टूगेदर but this was my limitation this was more of my sentiments which i shared with you rather than because see when i have seen my friends i have seen myself i have seen my brother so many people around who have been impacted and their the impact is not on as individually that impact goes on a wife who is there whether she is an entrepreneur or non entrepreneur also but that actually if it is been you know strengthened in a right sense i think we all make whole lot of difference and in this learning why i told you in the beginning to take smaller sessions for the you know uh, economically weakened people is then we understand where we also stand in the true sense and uh, do your best for sharing as much as possible by learning and ensure that you know contribute to that small person who is standing as i told you know just visualize for that moment if that security guard or that maid or a person who is coming to your house for any other purposes if you are contributing to their thought process you are actually contributing to your thought process right thank you very much for all your patience listening thank you sir
thank you for the informative and thought provoking session on finance strategy and planning yeah, now any the questions anyone has please so we'll just conclude with the one or two questions and then we can Um, so I wanted to know three points that I can go home and do it today and for my, one for myself and one would be for my maid. I already have some investments in three to four different things but I would like to know from your perspective. I am an entrepreneur, I am 28 years old so from my age group what do you think will be the three things that I must have or any policy or anything else that you think I should and should have. One. And the second one would be what my maid should have. I mean, I've never thought about it. That's a very, very uh, empathetic point that you've told. Uh, very appreciative of it. So yeah, both of these things. What I can tell my maid and myself. See, for your maid, I think we all can uh, have one session of what all products need not go and explore independently. Might be we can combine together and see uh, you know, different kind of insurance scheme. If example, the salary of a maid is put into a bank account, what is happening? Her credibility is getting created. Tomorrow if they want to uh, take a education loan or a housing loan for any purpose, that money is getting accumulated. However, that income will be lower than the taxable income. So you need to explain them, nothing is wrong. Take money in your bank account, example. This is biggest, then you tell, 500 rupees of insurance, 1000 rupees of insurance is actually going to protect your life. This is something you can talk about. Then you can talk about where that lady is coming from, whether there can be a, a you know, uh, uh, that uh, ladies organization which is create a self-help group. Can they create some kind of self-help group? Because they are not working all throughout the day, right? They are working in the morning or the evening. So they can actually start working on certain things. So this is one thing which is there. The most important part for any uh, entrepreneur is have a right advisor with you because every day is dynamic for an entrepreneur. What is happening which we have seen over a period of time is we take a reference of a particular person and reach which is good. But that reference of a person and the person who is advising is that person effectively giving that advice. You can assess it immediately. So take a right advisor when you are starting a new business. Right? Go to a right firm. Example, if you are not well, where will you go? To a uh, RMP or you will go to a good doc hospital or a doctor. So it's basically a financial, uh, you know, risk which we are carrying. We are actually putting in few lakhs of rupees or might be an idea which you are, it is going to motivate you. And if it is a failure and going in a wrong direction and that failure cost is higher, because the confidence get lower. So you have a right person with you to advise on that. Right? So that is two advice which I have. Any other person? Yeah. Mike. Aap sab log to khali hai, mere ko bhoog lag rahi hai actually. Hello everybody, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Neeli Maharia. Apart from being a CEO of a news channel and uh, owning my own business, my, uh, I need a strong advice because I also run a foundation. I'm, I'm very glad that I'm part of this informative and I mean a very intellectual session and thanks to the flow members because it really helps a woman because we lag in financial planning always right from the beginning because we depend on fathers and the male who are planning in the house. My uh, question here is since I'm running a foundation since 2018, I started this foundation with a vision, uh, Hunger Free India movement. Many in this hall are aware of uh, the food refrigerators in Hyderabad which we started. That we made an MOU with GHMC that place and power will be given by the GHMC and we install the food refrigerators. So I installed 45 refrigerators in Hyderabad. The model of these refrigerators is like we install the refrigerator by taking CSR funds from the companies. So we uh, made an effort of pulling 45 uh, people. So in the districts of Telangana and also in Hyderabad. Now we extended it to Andhra Pradesh. After this COVID, now we took a setback because the model was running that the foundation has no funds. 
we are trying to help ourselves so uh, one time investment is when the company comes i mean for example for example, Gold Drop comes and gives an investment for one-time investment and later the running has become a problem. Like the vision is like one company, for example, let us say A will adopt uh, installing the refrigerator and B will adopt, I mean, uh, keeping the food in the refrigerator apart from the general public who will come and uh, keep the leftover food and anybody can pick it up from the um, I mean, corners of the city. And we wanted the C has to run uh, the refrigerator by providing the employees. This was the model. And initially it was going good. But after pandemic, and uh, we are unable to find the CSR funds and how do we approach people. And then it, it is a, a huge uh, project. And, you know, I mean, we just wanted this to expand it to all the states. Now, after 45 refrigerators in Telangana, we worked with nearly, I mean, 10 IAS officers and, you know, almost all MLAs and MPs have involved because it is for Hyderabad city and Telangana where we, I mean, our main uh, motto was, you know, none should sleep empty stomach. That was the only goal and every leftover foods are coming. Initially, it was really doing fantastic in Hyderabad. I think most of you are aware of this. So now how do we get the CSR funds and how do we take it in large and there we were stuck. So when um, I have seen this in the group like financial planning and strategies and all, I thought that I'll take out time and attend this. So it really helped me where it clicked my mind when you really said, you know, I mean you are giving an idea, a woman who is sitting at home. Um, working 10 crores and you know they can take 5 percent. It is really a fantastic idea where a woman can concentrate. It really helps us to contribute to the society apart from our regular works. So I think your advice and your planning will help me to take it in large. Thank you very much. I will also contribute from my side. Don't worry. Thank, thank you. No, good. I think uh, this is the whole reason you know uh, an organization which has already been running and you whoever follows that idea or ideology and if you are able to contribute in your own way, as I was telling, there is a whole list of pe companies which are willing to spend money on and you are a person who is actually need money. Now, that just imagine the kind of huge gap which is there. There is no bridge. If you start working for this kind of things, yes, we'll, which, whichever way I can help you out, surely I'll love to help you out. And, and uh, uh, the foundation has made an MOU because I, we worked in the, such a case, we didn't want it to go, I mean, we didn't do it for time pass. We really wanted to take it in a very serious note and we pulled the government officials and we made MOU. So the place and power will be given by JHMC, so the 10 by 10 place. We only have to work bringing the uh, installation of refrigerators and, you know, so that Awareness, where the awareness also is a big thing for campaigning and all. So See, there uh, we are stuck. First thing is, uh, request you not to use the word time pass. I'll tell you why. The most important part is, even the most corrupt person in this country, or even a devil, actually is short of hunger. So hunger ke saath koi badmashi nahi karega, kyunki har admi ko, mai kitna bhi kharaab hoon, kitna bhi achcha hoon. When a person comes for hunger, no? Uh, uh, I so would like to interrupt you if you allow me. Huh. Uh, why did I use that word? Because now the foundations have become a trend. Because it's my experience. Unless it is in DNA, people cannot run a foundation. That's what yeah. is my experience. See, what is happening is across the length and breadth, we might be getting multiple calls from various organizations. Give me money, give me money, give me money. True. So that is something which we need to really work out. Whatever best I can give from my side, I'll surely uh, give advice respectively. Yeah. Please, please. Two minutes. So where I come from, I, the reason I want to add to your premises, you doing this for the first time, but we meet women entrepreneurs, housewives, friends who have just started with startups, started designing, started, you know, selling things just off and on. Most of the people we already know about. The first thing when you said, you know, what came to my mind, not one generation above me, but my generation and below. Most of us have had kids, right? When we get pregnant and we go to the gynae, uh, sorry, the obstetrician, what is the first thing that most of the obstetricians say these days? Please make sure your husband comes. He has to be participative. He has to be with you throughout the journey. He has to be present 
at the time of birth of the child because it's not just your baby, it's his baby too, right? I think the same thing applies to the financial aspect of life also. When you say that there are three things which you have to go today and you must do, one thing which everyone and most of all our mothers and mothers-in-laws need to do, go home and ask what is my tax return? What are my assets? Am I even filing a tax return? Do all of us know? Are we all filing, filing tax returns? There can ICAI put it forward, just like men have to go to the obstetricians, that when you're filing a woman's return, she should come at least once to the Fantastic to the advice, Abhay. I office. think this is a very good advice. Huh? Right? Because there are people who come to me. I'm, I'm, I'm not a practicing chartered accountant. I have no experience, you know very well. But people come to me and they say, I don't know if my tax return is being filed. I'm 70 years old. My husband has passed on. I don't know what assets I have. I don't know what income earnings I have. I don't know whether there is a rental income. Please go home and first find out. And it is your right. It is your right. Secondly, if you are a working woman, when you say that you know the family gives you money and then you are running a business, the seriousness of the financial planning also has to come into it. When you say that you want to become an entrepreneur, the first thing that you need to do is go to an advisor and do a proper financial planning. Yes, we make very good clothes, we do very good designing, we sell products, we are very good at marketing and all. But unless we plan our finances, it is not a success. I know some very good friends who are very popular in the city and who are doing very well business-wise. But they don't put their money in bank accounts. They don't know how to go to a bank and open an account or to operate an account. And we are all, I am coming from a good educated family where even we are all educated. I am from a finance background, that is why I know and I take care of everything in my family. But my mother-in-law doesn't know any of the things. My mother-in-law doesn't know in which, account, in which bank she has an account. Why not? That is where the financial planning has to start. The next stage of women empowerment is to know what is there in your name. Then only you can start planning as to where you want to be. So I think this is one of the very important points which needs to be highlighted. And of course, both women and uh, ICAI have to work together towards it. And one uh, other things I'll come back to you. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much. <laughs> I up and I thought that you know now I'm getting you those high-end credit cards I got the entire rental waved off of the credit card and I genuinely thought out of the 8,000 women 5,000 would really enjoy an unlimited lounge access shopping Burberry outlet this that you know I was like Ye to super hit hai. and I was shocked I think in single digit number the women have applied the reason is we told ICIC there would be no uh, waiver from compliance part of it. Documents जो आपको देने हैं वो देने पड़ेंगे. आपको कोई charge नहीं लगेगा. That credit card which we had finalized, I think, was 8,000 per annum rental or something, which we had gotten waived off. And ease, the guy would have come to your house. And I got to know that 99% of flow members didn't know whether the income tax returns are being filed or not. How will you give the documents? And when you would go back home, the husband would say, रहने दे तेरे पास जो है उतना ही ठीक है. They do not. I am taking 101 women to run no, all, in five I days. Add-on cards will be there. 101 women I am taking to run all. We just put ad hoc on the group that ladies, uh, do you people have lounge access? And 80% of them do not have. And I called up Sujita. Sujita, can you just get the ICICI cards activated? And she said, Shubra, who will give the papers? Do women have income tax returns? Without that, you won't get that card. So the situation is sad. So uh, Nidhi has rightly said, go back and check. Do you guys even have an IT return in place? If yes, 
understand how it is being filed, what is being written into it. Right? Yeah. yeah. Last one now. Uh, no, this Abhay's is just pertaining to financial literacy. There is a request that if uh, FIKI and ICI or whatever can put together a list of financial advisors. Because a lot of first generation entrepreneurs, yes, we have chartered accountants who are filing the returns for our companies and all that. But financial advisors who can help us do our personal financial planning vis-a-vis -vis in line with how our companies are doing. So if Flo or somebody can put together a list, that would be wonderful. Because not always, because banks do not always have the client's interest at heart because they have a lot of products to sell. So there's a lot of hard selling of a lot of products that people may not need. Right. So that's why if it's a suggestion and a request. Yeah. No, I think uh, uh, from ICI point of view, we don't uh, follow this practice. But what I can I help you out yeah. is, if Subra is able to uh, make a list, what we can do is we can give a credible names informally. Yes. You yes. can uh, do a, your assessment and then uh, you think over. There are a good number of people who are there. Unfortunately, most of the time people are going for considering the cost. But cost is not something which you need to really look into when you are no, talking about it. because the cost at the end of it, for buying a wrong product from a bank will be much higher than paying whatever 1 or 2 percent is required for a financial advisor, whatever it is. 100 percent. Yeah. Great. I think uh, all are charged up. Right? So we will have one more session sometime whenever Shubhra says, right? And uh, what best you can, you can reach out to us anytime on a very informal note, you can just get in touch. We'll be more than happy what best we can do from our side. But please, now get vigilant. It's very nice that Nidhi spoke about one particular fact. More than of, uh, you know, right, it is your duty to know. Because what happens most of the time is, Everything from the family is done genuinely. But when certain crises come, then we are not even aware of where things are, what things are. So it's important that that basic vigilance and that basic uh, you know, understanding, you should have it. Right? Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now we'll have the next session on importance of compliances, which will be handled by CA Abhay Kumar Chajar, Deputy Convener of Ta Finance and Tax Literacy Group. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, so after uh, an excellent session and uh, of, on financial planning, so of course, uh, you know, the financial part is taken care by uh, Dayaji and uh, I would take part of some of the tax literacy, you know, which the basic tax awareness, which all of you should know, should be aware of, of course, uh, that she's already mentioned. But before that, few declarations I would like to make. One, of course, what you mentioned is very important, but don't uh, spoil the weekend. So, pata chala ki sab ye ki humko return nahi bataoge income tax ka to we will not go out for dinner, not have dinner, not make dinner. So, please don't do that. But of course, it is very important that you should know. And I think one of the most important thing is that you should know whether the returns have been filed, the bank account, the, the children bank accounts, all. Of course, uh, you know, you should be aware uh, that is very important. Second, I would like to uh, mention is I think don't switch off the entire lights. Uh, the, the, because I, I want to see all of them and I just want, uh, yeah, nobody. <laughs> I'm between uh, you and lunch. I would just take 30 minutes and I would try to cover. So I think it's better we have few uh, lights, you know, we can see. If it is post lunch, uh, it might be uh, sleepy or. I think, yeah. Haan, so I, no, but definitely I would not take much time, but we'll ensure that you're not going out of this hall without at least knowing about income tax or a little bit about GST, a little bit of, about, um, you know, the CSR, what you mentioned, I think. What you should do is, my suggestion would be, like one of them is of course Daya Nivas, where you know, where we as an auditor, we have a lot of such clients where they have to, uh, you know, do a compliance of CSR. So I think you should reach out to chartered accountants who have such clients 
I think they are the best person in locally who you can, if you know, connect. You reach out to them and ask them if they have those clients who are not able to even do the compliance. They are, they have to comply with CSR, but still not able to find organization, charitable institutions, associations where they can give money. So, wo, I think that would be one of the steps where you can, uh, like you said, you have missed out over the years because of pandemic, but that could be one of the steps where you can reach out. Of course, three or two or three chartered accountants already here, but then you can find out more. And uh, uh, I think an excellent session on financial planning. So, tax come at, uh, it's, o it's okay if I speak mix. I, I don't mind speaking in English all the time, but uh, if there's anything in between also, you please ask because I would like you to have an interactive session. I don't mind if you ask questions. We are, you know, not very far. We just, uh, you know, you can even without mic, you can raise your hand and you can ask questions. I would be just taking you more on the technical part, but with the basic. Here he was like more on the financial planning, but the here is more for you to know the basic, what income tax is, where you have to file your returns, when you have to file your returns, what are the dates, when you have to file the returns, uh, then uh, what are uh, what is a company whether the company is eligible for audit when it is eligible those who are into business I, I believe it's a combination of uh, uh, women's what uh, we have so and uh, again you know uh, I would say it's an honor to be here and speaking in front of all of you and uh, for us I would say in uh, FTL the financial and tax literacy that's a good beginning that we have started from Hyderabad at COE this is the first center of excellence what we have now in ICI and programs with you. So we've had programs across 166 Hamari branches in ICI ke across India with five regional offices. So we had entire June month we had this FTL programs across India. So we had all the programs, branches organizing at different like for housewives, Nukar Natak, there were road, uh, you know, there were uh, street walks and then uh, we were making aware of the traffic policemen who were there that you should file your return, what is your saving, how you should plan your saving. All those were actually done for a month in uh, June till 1st of July where we have a CA Foundation Day. So, I think we had a lot of programs but I am, uh, I again, uh, you know, congratulate the, the flow of uh, the organization who have actually taken this initiative and uh, we are both of us are here to speak. So I'll just quickly take up uh, through, you know, the compliance. Of course, uh, uh, it, it would be a little technical, but like I said, you ask questions would be more interactive. So you also would uh, be, you know, part of this uh, discussion and if there anything which you still have questions, we can always respond even later. If uh, like uh, for through the uh, office bearers or you can also directly get in touch with us or they are the much if uh, there's any doubt at any point of time. When I say compliance, it's, it's more of the government, uh, you know, requirement to ensure that you compliance, you are compliant if you are an organization, if you are an individual, you are filing your tax returns, you are investing wherever, you know, you should invest and take the benefit when you file your tax returns. So, it is more for a company, I would say, a large organization where compliances are more, why more? Because they, there is like financial planning, we talk about the debt, where they want the sources of finance, where they need funds from the bank, where they need fund from uh, investors, where they need fund from, uh, from family and friends to know whether the organization is fully complied with all the regulations and laws. So I think there it is very important that the compliances of all the regulations, law, of this country has been done by an organization, by an individual to be happy, I would say, you know, to, to sleep well and, and you don't get notices from the income tax, from the laborers, if those who into business, from any other regulator or departments who are actually, you know, asking you to file your returns monthly, quarterly, annually as per the requirement of law. Another important part of doing a compliance is, you know, the credit, the credibility which you get in the society, with the regulators, with the financial institutions, all those, the credit which you get is, uh, is once you are a fully complied, is tremendous and you do a free flow of funds, you do free flow of business and you get customers and you grow.
I think the, the best part about doing a compliance is, is growth. So your credibility is there, your growth is there, and you ensure that the government, there are no notices. Of course, you still get otherwise, but then, but there are, you know, uh, requirements of law or uh, regulators where you'll have to ensure. Aaj income tax return, aap file karte hai, fir bhi notice aata hai. I don't say everybody gets it, but still, there are notices being received, even if you are compliant. You do cash business. Ab jaise uh, savings ki baat ho rahi thi, and that point of time in 2016, you know, we had demonetization. Sab nahi suna tha. If everybody started saving before that, and then once the demonetization came, every saving came out of the house and was invested or was spent. So something like this can happen always. You never know about this government. They can come up with these ideas and then do a demonetization. But still, saving planning has to be done and proper investment has to be done. So that is one part. So this is basically why compliance. Now I would take up, these are the, some of the contents which I thought I would you know, try to cover today quickly in uh, say next 35 minutes. Uh, requirement to file the income tax returns, due date, penalty for late filing, what is the date, and then advance tax. Uh, so those who are aware that there is an advance tax which has to be paid quarterly. There I'll cover tax audit. For those who are into business, there is a requirement under the Income Tax Act. Jo income Tax Act is audit karana mandatory. Hai. Not that those individuals are there, those, but for businesses. If you are a salaried employee, then of course there is no requirement of tax audit. But if you are into a business or a profession, then there is a requirement of tax audit which I'll cover. Then trust NGO audit, there is, if you have a charitable institutions like one of them which he just mentioned, or if you have some social organization or any such organization which is registered under a particular section to get the benefit of donation and to get the benefit of income tax, there the trust NGO, non-government organizations are formed. So, and Companies Act, there is a Companies Act, again, uh, uh, not familiar to most of you, but still I would try to cover. There are certain forms, uh, those who are into business, again, it's uh, a requirement of filing of certain forms. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly give you an idea about what forms are and what are the dates. So that you know, yeah, something like this is there for company, for individual, for for partnership firms, for LLP, uh, these are the dates, all those. So, and then if there is a, an organization, those who are into business, then there is an internal audit which has to be done. Again, there is a requirement where you are may, uh, being an entrepreneur, missing out of getting the internal audit done. So as per the law, it is required. And then uh, some of the GST and then FCRA, then again a foreign contribution regulation. Those who are actually involved in the charitable running a trust, there is a foreign fund which is also received through the nodal agency which the government allows where you can find a foreign donor and you can get funds in India if you are registered with FCRA, that is the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act again then, and then the EPF. So this is just a little slide. So uh, for all of you or most of you, uh, this is the requirement. Now when I say our income ki hum jab baat karte hai, income tax return kam mujhe file karna hai. The government or the income tax act says when my taxable income exceeds 2.5 lakhs. So where it exceeds 2.5 lakhs in a year which comes into the bank account. So I'm very specific, you may have money being received otherwise not in bank account. But when I say that you want to file a return, you want to declare an income, which is above 2,50,000, you have to file your income tax return. This is the basic requirement. Of course, there is a list of requirements. If you see it on the screen, there are other requirements also where return is to be filed. Not just ki dialogue ki income hai to return barna hai, foreign travel hai to be return barna hai. What I have just listed down is from the act. It's just purely I am trying to tell you ki aapko return kap kap barna hai. You are holding any asset out of India. If you have any investment out of India, you may not be earning income but you have to declare in your income tax return and file it. So this is again a requirement which is as per the act. You have signing authority into any bank account. If you are, you know, say uh, you have been an NRI and now you have come back to India but you have a bank account out of India, you will have a signing authority or running a bank account, you have to file the returns here. 
यू मे नॉट बी अर्निंग एनी थिंग ईयर बट वहाँ आपको इनकम हो रही है नहीं हो रही है इंटरेस्ट इनकम आ रहा है वॉट एवर योर रिटर्न हैज़ टू बी फाइल इफ़ यू हैव अ बैंक अकाउंट आउट ऑफ इंडिया इफ़ यू हैव अ फिक्स डिपॉजिट विच इज़ मोर देन वन करोर सो देर ऑल्सो देर इज़ अ रिक्वायरमेंट दैट योर इंटरेस्ट वॉट इज अर्न इन डिपॉजिट इन दी बैंक अकाउंट डिपॉजिट अकाउंट इन दी सेविंग ऑफकोर्स इट सेज it is uh, 50 lakhs but for a current account you have a uh, for those into business proprietary business we spoke about an individual business aapka kuch proprietary business hai usme aapka 1 crore ka balance hai but you don't have filed the returns in past but you have investments you have uh, bank account balances which has exceeded a certain limit then return has to be filed foreign travel expenses again if you have traveled during the year and you have spent more than 2 lakhs return has to be filed this is i'm just trying to give you an idea that these are the requirements for filing of tax returns in case you have not filed till date but you fall in any of these category the return has to be filed if it's not been filed electricity consumption 1 lakh sales turnover receipt now you are into a business like if uh, you are a professional now you have a, a gross receipt which is exceeding 60 lakhs in the previous year when i say previous year if i am today i am talking about then 21 22 financial year if you have a turnover a gross receipt of this amount see when i say 60 lakhs the books of account jo aap log accounts aapke accountant honge ya aap tally mein accounting kar rahe hain ya any other way where you are maintaining your books you are just writing your sales you are writing your receipts that has exceeded 60 lakhs now how how much is into the bank account how much has been accounted for the moment it is declared as 60 lakhs turnover then the income tax return has to be filed gross receipt for a professional like us and for others who are into this profession 10 lakhs the moment the receipt exceeds you will have to file the income tax return now tds this tcs i am not sure how many of you have heard about this but just tell you tds is tax deducted at source and tax collection at source so tax deducted jo hota hai ki jo bank mein aapke fdrs hai us pe bank mein aapko interest mila interest pe bank agar tds kaatta hai to if that tds exceed this amount then income tax return has to be filed or if you are doing a business where tds is deducted if you are a consultant you have raised bill or tds deduct hua hai to us pe ek certain amount ke upar agar tds kata hai then return has to be filed so this is again a limit which is there aggregate deposit one or saving account 50 lakhs all together deposit saving bank balance all everything is more than 50 lakhs return has to be filed so this was just to give you an idea ab isme when i say taxable income in the first point i have written as 2 lakh 50 000 so there is you know a gross total income jaise aapke bahut sare income hai say the total comes to around 6 lakhs or 8 lakhs or 10 lakhs but after all benefits deductions exemptions which the government allows ki ye hum ppf mein aapne invest kiya ya you have taken a housing loan so there you pay interest all those benefits are there in which the government has given after deducting all those benefits if it exceeds 2 lakh 50000 you have to file your return so taxable total income matlab where you have to pay tax on that income it is 2 lakh 49999 then no return has to be filed that is allowed not to file but you still option you uh, may exceed 250 but after deduction you come less than income tax return due dates now if i am not sure how many into corporate assessees but if those who are into business or जिनके ऑडिट्स होते हैं जैसे इफ़ यू हैव अ प्राइवेट लिमिटेड कंपनी और यू हैव अ पार्टनरशिप और अ प्रोप्राइटरशिप कंपनी वेयर ऑडिट इज टू बी डन द लास्ट डेट इज थर्टी फर्स्ट अक्टूबर वी डू अ टैक्स ऑडिट लाइक आई सेट टैक्स ऑडिट आल्सो आई टेल यू बट लास्ट डेट इज थर्टी फर्स्ट अक्टूबर बट अदर देन दोज कॉपरेट नॉन कॉपरेट ऑडिट केस वर्किंग पार्टनर जैसे यू आर अ पार्टनर विद अ पार्टनरशिप फर्म और उस फर्म का ऑडिट होता है तो आपकी लास्ट डेट भी 31 अक्टूबर है रिटर्न फाइल करने बट सपोज यू आर एन इंडिविजुअल एंड अ सैलरीड एम्प्लॉय एंड जस्ट फाइलिंग योर रिटर्न और नॉट फाइलिंग देन इन दैट केस 31 जुलाई इज द डेट 
where you have to file your return. If you are a salaried or any other income, interest income or rental properties income, anything other than business, other than audit, other than corporate is 31st July. So those who have already filed by 31st, this year is over. You can still file it, but there is a late fees which I have just given below. If the income is less than 5 lakhs, like suppose if it exceeds 2 lakh 50 thousand, और पांच लाख तक आपकी रिटर्न की इनकम है तो एक हजार रुपए आपको देना है दैट इज द इंटरेस्ट पेनल्टी विच इज चार्ज बाय द इनकम टैक्स एंड यू फाइल योर रिटर्न बट सपोज योर इनकम एक्सीड्स फाइव लैक्स देन अप टू थर्टी फर्स्ट दिसंबर इफ यू सी इट इज फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज द मोमेंट इट क्रॉसेज थर्टी फर्स्ट दिसंबर तो आप आज भी रिटर्न भर सकते हैं इफ यू हैव मिसड आउट फाइलिंग बट फाइव थाउजेंड विल बी चार्ज सपोज आपका कोई टी है कोई आपने एडवांस टैक्स जमा किया है तो उसमें से वो एडजस्ट हो जाएगा सो इट्स इट्स लाइक यू हैव पेड ऑलरेडी एडवांस टैक्स फॉर दोज हु अंडरस्टैंड देन दैट फाइव थाउजेंड विल गेट एडजस्टेड अगेंस्ट दैट बट अदरवाइज दिस हैज टू बी पेड एडिशनली व्हेन यू फाइल योर रिटर्न या जिनसे भी आप भरवा रहे हैं उसमें जब टैक्स पेबल की लाइबिलिटी आएगी दैट विल बी एडेड विथ फाइव थाउजेंड एंड यू हैव टू पे टू दी गवर्नमेंट सपोज इट एक्सीड्स फाइव लैक्स देन इन एनी अदर केस लाइक After 31st December, it is 10,000 rupees. So this 1,000, 5,000, and 10,000. This is the liability which has now been implemented for late filing. But up to 31st of March next year, you can file. Kar sakte ho. Like for this year, 21, 22, up to 31st March 23, you can file your returns. So there is, it is allowed by the online system. It will not be disallowed. Even later, you will file it. But your liability, which will be added, will be added. एडवांस टैक्स हम भरते ऑलरेडी इन टू बिजनेस दोज आर इंटू इफ यू आर इंटू अ सैलरी यू आर अ सैलरीड पर्सन और यू आर अ प्रोफेशनल देर इज अ डेट इफ यू नो योर टैक्स लाइबिलिटी फॉर अ ईयर वुड बी टू लैख रुपीज देन यू हैव टू डिवाइड दैट इन टू फोर क्वार्टर्स एंड डिपॉजिट द अमाउंट सो ईच क्वार्टर यू हैव टू पे एंड गवर्नमेंट डेट्स आर फिफ्टीन ऑफ जून फिफ्टीन सेप्टेम्बर फिफ्टीन दिसंबर एंड फिफ्टीन मार्च so every quarter you have to pay isme the reason why government is says and the law says is suppose if you don't do it then what happens then there is an interest which is charged on the tax when you calculate jaise aaj aap file kar rahe hain return agar professional hai like madam shubhra or i or anybody like nidhi madam and others who are professional or doctor is here uh, and she is doctor so if you file your return before 31st october and you find ki meri liability tax ki 3 lakh rupaye or advance tax i have paid only 2 lakhs now you have only paid 66 67% whereas you were supposed to pay 15 march tak almost 100% so your estimate of tax was wrong during the year that's the reason aapki liability aayi kuch aapki additional income ho gayi jisse aapki tax ki liability badh gayi so that 1 lakh short paid by you like 3 lakh is the liability and 2 lakh advance tax 1 lakh short paid us pe aapki interest ki liability aayegi तो वो रिवर्स सिस्टम कैलकुलेट करता है मीन आई एम नॉट गोइंग इनटू दैट डिटेल बट दैट इंटरेस्ट वुड बी अबाउट 1.5 परसेंट पर मंथ सो दैट कुड बी 18 परसेंट सो 18,000, 20,000 एडिशनल टैक्स हैज टू बी पेड ओवर एंड अबव थ्री लैक्स सो इट्स बेटर दैट यू प्लान योर ईयर इन अ वे दैट यू आर इन बिजनेस और इन अ प्रोफेशन और इवन सैलरी तो देर द टी डी एस इज डिडक्टेड बट इन अ प्रोफेशन और अ बिजनेस यू समटाइम्स गेट एडिशनल इनकम इन एनी ऑफ द क्वार्टर जैसे आप Uh, there may be a case that you have a house or you have a you know uh, a capital asset aur usko aapne becha aap apne consultant se poochte hain ki bhai ab i have sold it now what should i do to save tax there is a tax if you don't do anything for a period then 20% has to be paid on whatever the gain you have earned in the selling of property but there are advisors like us chartered accountants who would tell you that you do an investment you buy another house or you construct a house so in that case if you have sold a house and you don't want to invest in any of the new house make sure ki aap jis month ya quarter mein aapne sell kiya uski next jo due date hai us pe aap advance tax jama kar de sometimes ye hota hai ki when i file the return i want to pay all the tax but i have sold the house in the month of january now my due date is 15th march I don't buy another property. I want to pay tax and send money up abroad, 
or I want to use the money for my own uh, other investments, other uh, you know uh, purchases or whatever you want to. So you pay 20 percent and you use the balance 80 percent. So जो 20 percent है, उसपे वो आपको 15th मार्च तक पे करना है. It's not that you wait till July and then you pay because वो January से July का वो interest ले लेगा. So there, uh, just one of the instance because there is a possibility when you sell a house or sell a property, uh, there is investments done sometimes in uh, individual name, husband's name, wife name. So there are selling, buying of properties where you'll have to ensure that it is paid well on time. Tax audit, I was discussing more in, uh, yeah, please. See, I'll just take it through an example. Like suppose there is a property of uh, uh, which is sold for one crore, a house which is sold for one crore, which is in your name, or usko hamne purchase kiya tha ten years back. Now that property valuation ten years back was say fifty lakhs. So ideally, the government will ask you ki one crore sale minus fifty lakhs. 50 lakhs pay you pay 10 lakhs to us as an income tax 20 percent. Now suppose I don't want to pay tax at all. Now there are benefits which income tax has. One is you can buy another house in two years or you have already bought a house one year before selling or you construct a house in three years which is more than 50 lakhs cost. Jo aapka cost jo jis pe tax bar rahe 50 lakh pe. 50 lakh se zyada ya to aap naya ghar kharid le ya construct kar le. There you'll not have to pay any of the taxes or again then you say ki nahi immediately I'm not able to decide to buy a house or construct a house. There are bank accounts which are opened by nationalized bank which are called capital gains bank account. Us pe aapko 1% extra interest milta hai saving bank se. Wo aap paisa wahan rakh sakte. It'll not be a taxable money. You can keep it in that bank account only with the condition कि जैसे आप उसको withdraw करेंगे आपको invest करना है या तो घर खरीदने में या घर बनाने में third option which the government has given you is कि आप bonds खरीद सकते हैं 50 लाख तक जैसे infrastructure है lot of infrastructure bonds are there NHAI क्या national house this highway infrastructure so authority they have coming with a lot of bonds are there there you can do up to 50 lakhs. So there also financial year mein ek 50 lakh tak aap bond leke with a lock-in period it has but 3 to 5 years. So there you can do those investments. So then in that case what 20 percent you need not to pay and you can get away with. But it has to be paid uh, if you don't do anything and just want to retain 80 percent then government says ki aap 20 percent do or 80 percent you want to use it for any purpose, want to send abroad, want to send for children or any other uh, uh, personal purposes, you can just spend it whichever way you want or uh, uh, buy any asset. No, actually see, see uh, the example which I gave of sale of property was now there is a section in income tax where you sell a property, you can only buy a house. They don't allow anything that you can invest in any other. It's only a selling a property and you can buy only house. That is what the income tax says. They're very strict on all these. House. Huh. Investment has to be in house. See dividend Dividend income again is part of that 2,50,000. More, More than that, if you get it in a year, you have to file your income tax return. Because government has now said two years back, if you have a lot of dividend in one year, then you income tax deduct. Karte. No, actually not because dividend is only an income on your investment. You can use it for whatever purpose you want. But it will not be something that you earn 5 lakhs dividend in a year and you invest and you take the benefit. It has to be shown in your return, pay taxes, whatever has been deducted minus what you pay. 
सो टैक्स ऑडिट अगेन दिस इज लिटिल टेक्निकल बट आई जस्ट टेल यू जैसे जो बिजनेस और प्रोफेशन में है अगर आपकी ग्रॉस रिसीट टर्न ओवर एक्सीड्स वन करोर इन केस ऑफ बिजनेस मैंने ऐसे बिजनेस इज अदर देन प्रोफेशन प्रोफेशन लाइक मी और मैडम शुभ्रा निधि ऑफकोर्स इज इन टू बिजनेस बट शी बींग अ प्रोफेशनल इफ शी हैज अ रिसीट और अ ग्रॉस रिसीट एक्सीडिंग फिफ्टी लैक्स तो ऑडिट करना जरूरी है फॉर अ बिजनेस एक्सीडिंग वन करोर ऑडिट करना जरूरी है बट लास्ट टू ईयर्स गवर्नमेंट हैज कम अप विद अ नोटिफिकेशन सेंग कि सारी आपकी रिसीट्स या एक्सपेंसेस बैंक अकाउंट से ही आप करते हो ऑल ट्रांजैक्शंस थ्रू बैंक नो कैश एंड यू पुट एवरीथिंग लाइक यू हैव ओनली नेफ्ट आरटीजीएस एंड यू गिव ओनली टू योर एम्प्लॉज सैलरी थ्रू नेफ्ट आरटीजीएस ऑल वेंडर्स सप्लायर्स यू मेक पेमेंट थ्रू बैंक सो देर इट सेज यू डोंट हैव टू गेट दी ऑडिट डन अप टू टेन क्रोर्स ऑफ टर्न ओवर I have said all, but actually the limit is 95 percent. Like 5 percent, से ज़्यादा अगर आपने अपना cash collection किया receipt या 5 percent से ज़्यादा आपने expenses किए cash में, then audit has to be done. But it is 96 percent, 97, 98, 99. Then no need of audit up to a limit of turnover of 10 crore in case of business. But if it's a profession, it is still 50 lakhs. so 50 lakhs professional income audit has to be done below that again government has given an option aap logo ko those who are into business and those who know or may not be aware that agar mera turnover 1 crore se upar hai but 2 crore se kam hai to government bolti hai ki aap aisa karo ki aap 8% profit dikha do aur return bhar do like suppose my turnover is 1 lakh 1 crore 50 now 8% is 12 lakhs to government says ठीक है यू नीड नॉट मेंटेन योर बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स यू नीड नॉट गेट दी ऑडिट डन अप टू टू करोर सो वी अलाउ यू कि आप एट परसेंट दिखा दीजिए प्लीज नो यस एट एंड सिक्स परसेंट यू सेंग Yeah, yeah, eight and six. Yes, yes. Yeah, I was coming to that. It is, it is not for a company. It is not for company. Ah, uh, not for a firm or a company. It is only for a proprietor. Correct. So, you are right. Actually, so in this, just say, your eight percent and six percent is. But now, government says that you can pay eight percent. Like for a proprietorship firm, I can pay eight percent. If every transaction is through bank account, I can pay six percent profit. Like suppose if I say my profit or a or, or a turnover is one crore fifty lakhs, I am running my business as a proprietary firm. There is a partnership firm. There is a limited liability partnership. जो हमने बात करी थी या company है private public company. Now I have a proprietorship concern where I say कि मेरा turnover डेढ़ करोड़ का है. और सारे ट्रांजैक्शन बैंक से होते हैं तो गवर्नमेंट सेज कि आप छः परसेंट प्रॉफिट दिखाओ और आप रिटर्न भर दो सो so, डेढ़ करोड़ पे छः परसेंट नाइन्टी नाइन लैक्स नाइन लैक्स पे वॉट एवर टैक्स एप्लीकेबल एज पर टैक्स रेट यू कैन जस्ट पे एंड बी फ्री एवरीथिंग इन टू दी बैंक अकाउंट पे ओनली सिक्स परसेंट लेस इन द बैंक अकाउंट पे एट even a rupee or less you have to pay 8% this is an option for not getting audit done but of course audit limit maine aapko bataya 1 crore hai 10 crore hai ya profession ke case mein 50 lakh rupaye where you have to get the audit done thoda sa ek technical aur part bataunga may not be very relevant but a professional if the income is less than 50 lakhs or like a doctor you have a income or a receipt less than 50 lakhs then the government says you take 50% like suppose it's 48 lakhs so 24 lakhs pe aap tax bhar do they call it presumptive tax basically it is the word uses presumptive there is no books of accounts koi accounting maintain nahi hai kuch bhi record books maintain nahi hai hamare bank account mein 48 lakhs aaya 48 lakhs ka maine 50% kiya 24 lakhs aur us pe maine tax bhar diya this is for profession 
Business I have already discussed, 8, 6% or the limit is 1 crore, 10 crore depending on how you are doing the transaction. Private public trust. Correct, 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 absolutely. So that would be October, right? that no, no, see, the October, October, October date is for filing of income tax return. Okay. Yeah, but for, for tax audit date, the last date is 30th September. Thank yes. So, uh, a few years, a few months, a uh, few years back, there was an amendment that earlier the tax audit and filing of return was on the same date. But then the government decided that they'll keep a gap of 30 days. So, 30th September, tax audit last date for those who are under audit and those who are with the partner, the return uh, filing is 31st October. So up to that, you can like you being a partner in any of a partnership firm or you being your, uh, a, a, a professional who is getting audit done can still file your return up to 31st October. But of course, tax audit, like she said, that it has to be filed by 30th September so if you are under the audit. Uh, private trust, public trust, uh, just a basic idea for you to understand. Yes, agar aap logo ki kisi ki private trust hai, it is more like a family owned trust where you op make a uh, trust, the, own, uh, the head of the family become the managing trustee and other members become the trustee. It is there for a specific object, like suppose you decide that you have created a trust in the family to only help the uh, or uh, do education for needy or medical expenses for all those needies. So needy, so there you know it is a private trust, open specific object, family and friends only contribute, give donation to this trust and it is run. Public trust, it is like a trust, it's a, it's a charitable organization, institution, social organization or even educational institutions or even uh, I would say uh, certain charitable which are open for public. It is not specific religious trust, but these are trusts which are open where you get donations from across India or even out of India like I told about FCRA. There it is religious, it is uh, charitable, it is social, it is educational where you are doing objects are specific for that public trust कि आपने अगर कोई चैरिटेबल खुला है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जहां आप कोई जनरल पब्लिक के लिए एनी एनी एक्टिविटी ऑफ चैरिटेबल नेचर यू आर डूइंग वेयर सपोज यू आर मे बी रनिंग अ स्कूल यू नो यू हैव अ अ बिजनेस हाउस आई एम आई एम नॉट श्योर बट इवन यू नो सीएसआर देयर इज एन ऑप्शन कि अगर आप यू हैव योर ओन बिजनेस यू कैन हैव अ ट्रस्ट व्हिच इज क्रिएटेड एंड यू कैन इन्वेस्ट इन दैट ट्रस्ट व्हिच इज रनिंग अ स्कूल which is registered under Income Tax Act for charitable purpose, for educational purpose. But if you do investment in that education activity, even the CSR compliances are taken care. So there, there are certain organizations who have their own schools, have their own hospitals, other organizations or charitable institutions they create and do CSR activities also. So that is more for a general uh, and uh, public open for public, just say, uh, I'm not sure here, like for example, Hindi, uh, you know, to uh, do a, a prachar of Hindi. So there is a Hindi Bhavan trust which is created. Or, uh, you know, uh, this, uh, there are a lot of Gandhi Bhavan's trusts which are across India which are created. Or any such trust, I would say, which I am, I'm sure even Fiki would be one of the organizations carrying out uh, uh, such activity across India. So income tax says ki agar aapka registration, charitable, social organization hai or objects public ke liye hai, not for earning profit for your trustees, then they give you an exemption of tax. There is a specific section which says ki aapke jo bhi profits honge, jo bhi surplus bachega, you will not need to pay taxes. But those money, that money has to be invested for the object of the trust, not for anything else. Just like an education institution, hai, usko income tax has allowed that yes, you are doing an educational activity. You are not earning, just like missionaries, hai, a lot of missionary schools are there. 
दे आर इन टू एजुकेशनल दे टेक स्पेसिफिक एग्जामेशन तो उनको क्या है एक तो फीस आती है प्लस दे कैन ऑल्सो एक्सेप्ट डोनेशन इफ दे आर अलाउड अंडर इनकम टैक्स एक्ट अगेन देर इज अ सेक्शन एंड दे डू ऑल दी ऑब्जेक्ट्स विच इज एज पर देयर लॉज बाय लॉज अंडर विच दे आर रजिस्टर्ड सो देर बेसिक डिफरेंस इज अ प्राइवेट एंड पब्लिक ट्रस्ट इट्स प्राइवेट इज मोर अ फैमिली ओन विच इज स्पेसिफिक पब्लिक इज अ जनरल सोशल चैरिटेबल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेयर यू कैन डू एक्टिविटीज विद इन दी ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ ट्रस्ट बट यू गेट मनी फ्रॉम अक्रॉस इंडिया और फ्रॉम इवन आउट ऑफ इंडिया वेर यू रजिस्टर योर सेल्फ फॉर एफ सी आर ए दिस इज बेसिकली a form 10b for those who are having a charitable institution income tax says a 10b ka form hai wo aapko har saal file karna hai last date for filing is 30th september if uh, there is an audit which is to be done every year you do the audit then there is a uh, firms and society where you'll have to file your returns uh, annual accounts every year and even file the income tax return so this is the form which has to be filled by the auditor who does the audit aur isme ek atg ka section hota hai agar aapne suna ho jisme donation hum receive kar sakte so again this trust is allowed that you can receive donation and can take the benefit of uh, uh, receiving and actually investing the money for the objects this again uh, these are certain forms when you have a private limited company there are certain basic forms which has to be done any of the, you who have a private company or you are directors in any of the companies there is a certain requirement that the audit has to be done up to 30th september which we have discussed in case of company which is not under tax audit the last date is 30th september where you will have to get the audit done and have the agm annual general meeting 30th september uski date hoti hai 6 months from the end of financial year सो वेन आई फाइनेंशियल ईयर मेरा एंड हो रहा है थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च तो सिक्स मंथ्स में मुझे ए जी एम करना मैंडेटरी है सो थर्टी एथ सेप्टेम्बर वंस यू हैव दी ए जी एम तो ए जी एम में हम अकाउंट्स प्लेस करते हैं अकाउंट्स जो ऑडिट हो गए हैं विच इज़ एक्सेप्टेड बाई ए जी एम शेयर होल्डर्स फ्रॉम दी ए जी एम डेट देर आर सर्टन डॉक्यूमेंट्स वेर यू हैव टू फाइल इट टू दी रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ कंपनीज नाउ दो आर अवेयर ऑफ अ प्राइवेट कंपनी देर आर सर्टन सेट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स विच आर टू बी फाइल I have just tried to cover the basic document. First one is appointment of auditor. आपको करना है Now it is allowed that you can do an appointment for फाइव years. But suppose this फाइव year is getting over this year. So there is a form which has to be filed within certain period after AGM. Then there is an AOC देर इज एन ए ओ सी फोर जो थर्टी डेज के अंदर फाइल करना है एनुअल रिटर्न है देन देर इज ए ओ सी फोर अगेन दिस फॉर्म एक टर्नओवर होता है सौ करोड़ कंपनी की है अगर सौ करोड़ के ऊपर टर्नओवर है तो वो एनुअल रिटर्न एओसी फॉर बेसिक रिटर्न है बट सौ करोड़ के ऊपर वो है दैट्स अ डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज एक्स बी आर एल लैंग्वेज एक आई थी पांच साल पहले देर इट हैज टू बी फाइल इन एओसी फॉर देन एम जी डी सेवन अगेन सिक्सटी डेज फ्रॉम ए जी एम सो दिस ऑल फॉर्म आर आफ्टर ए जी एम डेट इट हैज टू बी फाइल एक्सेप्ट एम एस एम ई अगर आपने मीडियम स्मॉल माइक्रो एंटरप्राइजेज अभी काफी organizations are now getting registered up to 400 crores of turnover now you are under an msme lot of benefits are there if you are doing business and your payments are not received within a certain period 45 days to msme ko fir interest bhi milta hai so msme there is a you know if you have an organization which is not registered do register with msme it's an online process and very quick aur msme mein aap kar lete ho to nobody will stop your payments for more than 45 days there is some correct yes 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 beyond 45 they have to pay interest interest after 45 days aur unko balance sheet mein unko batana bhi padta hai ki kin kaun kaun si msme hai where we have not made the payment and we have paid interest so company don't like to stop the payments of all those who are registered with msme and pay interest and show in balance sheet क्योंकि जो भी बैलेंस शीट फिर देखता है लार्ज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे सी दैट दे आर एक्चुअली नॉट यू नो फॉलोइंग अ पेमेंट प्रोसेस और दे आर इनडिसिप्लिन इन टर्म्स ऑफ पेइंग टू दी एम एस एम ईज एंड इवन गवर्नमेंट इंसिस्ट इसलिए टर्न ओवर की लिमिट बढ़ी है इनफैक्ट येस्टे देर वॉज यू नो एन इंक्रीज इन लिमिट ऑफ स्मॉल कंपनी डेफिनेशन अगर आई डोंट नो इफ दोज आर इन टू प्रोफेशन और आर वेल कनेक्टेड विथ सर्टन ग्रुप्स 
the limit earlier was 2 crores of paid up capital now has increased to 4 crores and turnover 20 crores ko 40 crores kar diya to small company ki definition mein bhi now government is trying ki more and more uh, you know to uh, avoid such company doing compliances so they are increasing limit and making them free from various compliances which are exempt for small companies and companies where are which are msme so there they are trying ki kam se kam in logo compliance karna pade and maximum they should concentrate is on growth and their business and and uh, do more and more business and avoid or avoid any uh, plan for their compliances this is just a, uh, a definition of internal audit uh, those who have their companies there is there is a certain limit where you'll have to have your internal audit done up to a certain limit not required listed company mein to sab mein chahiye listed when i say listed on any stock exchange or any bsc nsc where you have to have your internal audit otherwise there is a limit i'm not going into that detail but internal audit if just one line mein i'll say is 200 crore ka agar aapka turnover hai isse upar jo bhi company hai usko internal audit karana zaruri hai so there i think if you read it it talks about finally bottom c if you see a private company turnover of 200 crores is uh, it covers all three and 100 crores of borrowings so 100 crores is borrowing is a big number but turnover of 200 you may still have so there you have to ensure that internal audit is done so this is again a requirement of one of these sections of companies act csr has already been discussed but important part here is csr ka compliance mandatory ho gaya hai aapko 5 crore ka aapka profit hai agar pichle saal ka before tax you if you are a company csr is mandatory and 2% of average profit of 3 years you have to pay to any organization or an implementation agency which runs a csr activity hamara ek section hai section 135 जिसपे बहुत स्पेसिफिक एक्टिविटीज दी है कि ये एक्टिविटीज में अगर कोई भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दो परसेंट जिसपे लाइबिलिटी है वो अगर उस पर पैसा दे देती है डोनेशन और एनी सच सी एच आर एक्टिविटी देर इट इज अ कंप्लायंस ऑफ दिस सेक्शन दिस इज मैंडेटरी फॉर अ कंपनी विच हैज अ प्रॉफिट फाइव क्रोज एंड अबव इन प्रीवियस ईयर csr we have already discussed so this is say minimum 2% average profit of 3 previous years so suppose if you have a profit of 5 crores 8 crores and 10 crores 23 crores total so 2% that comes to about 46 lakhs you have to contribute aur ye aapko karna hai mandatory hai non compliance ki penalties hai as per section of companies act so that 46 lakhs has to be done like one of the uh, thing what she was mentioning or any which is already registered or is maybe a cheese I'm at Karunga if you run a social or an organization which is registered for income tax to CSR may have mandatory okay if I am a business house and I'm giving 2% of my money to any such organization which runs CSR activity that organization should be registered with CSR Last year tak wo registration mandatory nahi tha, year before last, but ab wo registration mandatory hai. Agar aapka registration nahi hai, to aap CSR ka paisa nahi receive kar sakte from any of the organization. So please ensure if you are running such organization, jahan aap agar, if you are part of the uh, executive body or uh, you know general body of that social charitable organization, then you must ensure that you are registered with CSR to receive any such money. No, no, it's not that they have stopped, but they have been very uh, particular in organizations and selective in giving 12A in ATG. Like, see, if you have a new organization, if you have a new institution created, there, of course, you'll have to be very specific in terms of preparing your bylaws. This say, wo income tax aapko exemption de, 12A or 80. Three years. Yeah, three years. 
then uh, GST again, this is just one or two slides I thought I would explain and uh, make you understand. GST ke liability, uh, those who are into business, 20 lakhs and above, GST registration is mandatory and you have to collect and deposit the uh, one country, one tax which is started uh, seven, uh, five years back in July 2017. So in certain uh, 10 lakhs, there is a limit in certain states. But if you talk about all of us, it is 20 lakhs. Any amount turnover, 20 lakhs and above GST, no exemption in any business. Of course, specific uh, business list is there in the next slide where it is not required. They are not liable or exempt from GST, they are. So that list is there. But otherwise, barring that, everybody has to collect GST, pay to the government. I'm not going into detail that ki GST, uh, then we uh, tax collect karna hai, then we uh, get services from other vendors and suppliers, so we also pay GST. So there is, there is as per the accounting, you can take the benefit, whatever you collect and whatever you pay to your purchase and suppliers and vendors, net has to be paid to the government. So these are a list of uh, GST, so basic is 20 lakhs and above GST has to be collected. But government has still exempted certain not to collect uh, and, uh, you know, uh, or exempt uh, these organizations if they are carrying out any of these activities, agriculture services, government. Here I would be more specific in terms of medical. Those who are into medical profession, still they are exempt to collect GST. But, of course, they have to pay GST for taking services from vendors and suppliers. But they need not to collect. So, suppose if as a professional or a medical practitioner, doctor, if I am paying uh, billing 1 lakh of rupees, I still need to, I need not to still collect GST. But if I am having a medical shop within the hospital, then that medical shop has to collect GST and pay GST because that is a business. It's, it's not a doctor's professional, it is a, you may have hospital but you have a medical shop. Then that planning has to be done, okay, how you can do it. but whatever sale purchase you are doing of medicine, you have to collect GST and make payment of GST. So that is there. Otherwise, advocates, again, they are exempt. Practitioners, uh, advocates, medical practitioners, they are exempt. And then educational transport of facilities, students, midday meal, examination. So this is just a list. Maybe uh, we can share the presentation also and through uh, Madam Shubhra, everybody can get to have an idea. But 20 lakhs GST liability is there and these are exempt still by the government where you need not to pay if you are carrying out any of these services uh, GST. Uh, these are filing dates of GST returns. I have just uh, tried to cover. If you are GST mein hai already, then GST ki returns ki date monthly agar hai, to 11th and 13th. Hai. Quarterly hai, to uh, then uh, uh, 3B, if you're filing, is 20, 22, and 24. So these are different dates. Government has also given an option that if your turnover is less than 5 crore, then you can go to quarterly returns, monthly payment option. Mein ja sakte. So that option is there, that you can pay GST every month, but get rid of filing return every month. So that is the benefit which government has given in the last few years. So I've just listed down these dates. Aur Salbar jab hum karte hai, uske baad ek annual return jata hai GST ka, jiski last date 31st December hai, where you will have to file your annual return of whatever the GST, 3B mein jo bhi aapne diya, there is a form 3B every month, every quarter when you file, for those who are liable and are doing it in their business, then every year 31st December you have to file the annual activity of GST, the turnover, the exempted services, ya GST mein aapne input kisi mein liya koi service pe, whatever. So all that has comes in the form of annual return. Then FCRA registration for uh, uh, specific uh, the government is, you know, very particular in giving an FCRA registration uh, unless, you know, you have some to be honest and, uh, you know, to be an informal among this crowd, if you have a good influence and you want an FCRA registration, it would take about six months to nine months, but you can still get it. But government is very particular. They are not giving FCRA registrations to organizations now because those funds comes and are being used 
or misuse for other purposes other than the contribution received. So they have also got into a system of pure India mein, unhone ek SBI ki branch hai, jo Tolstoy Mark Delhi mein hai, jiski bhi organization ko foreign contribution aata hai, that will come to that branch. Entire India, now they have started from last year, will come to that branch and then it will go to other branches where you have your bank account of the organization. So they are very strict and they are restricting foreign contributions. So those who are already registered or you are dealing with an organization or part of a trustee of any such organization, there's a certain requirement that annual return has to be filed and every five years a renewal has to be done in FCRA. If you are registered, since 2016 annual renewal, uh, five-year renewal was implemented. So every five year you have to renew your FCRA. Pehle kisi ko mila tha, 30 saal pehle, to wo was valid till 2016. But after 2016, every five years you have to renew. You don't do it, within six months you will get a notice that your FCRA registration is cancelled. So please ensure, agar, if you are attached, you may ask questions to the, to the trustees or to the president or to any other uh, office bearers of those organizations, whether we have filed our return of last year, which was 31st December, or the audit is completed, then we must ensure that 31st December the return is filed and renewal is due in this year because after COVID, a lot of extension was done and 2016, which got expired in 21, till today is valid that you can apply for renewal. Government has been extending dates until 30th September also you can have your renewal done, if not done for 21. So that uh, is still valid, so that also you can confirm. So Again, the renewal is there. Five years, you have to have the process of renewal being done. So, uh, for FCRA registered organization, for those who are not registered but expect to get foreign contribution, can get registered. But like I said, it is not easy now that you get FCRA. But it is not no also to the organization. So, if you have, there is a process. Everything is online in FCRA. Every filing has to be done online. There is no manual documents to be submitted. So this is again very important, but once you submit, you'll have to find some consultant who would help you to get FCRA registration if you are expecting some foreign contribution to be received. Provident fund, again there is a requirement, Agar aap koi organization, if you have a factory then there is a requirement that if you have 10 employees or more, you have to have provident fund registration for all the employees. Other than that, 20 employees ki limit hai. Or salary jo aap pay kar rahe ho, agar wo 15,000 se niche hai. When I say salary, it is not gross salary. Of course, there was a case of Supreme Court two years back, but currently also it is basic plus DA. Agar aap 15,000 se kam uh, hai salary, to aapko PF deduct karna hai. I'm not going into percentage, but there is a requirement to deduct provident fund for 10 or 20 employees as the case may be. Again, employee state insurance, this is also a compliance which has to be done in labor laws. These are under labor laws where compliances has to be done. Ten employees or more ESI, employee state insurance, factories you are running or there is a med privately held med medical and educational institutions, 20 employees. Here the salary is 21,000. But the difference here with provident fund ESI is 21,000 is whatever you are paying is total salary. There is basic plus DA. Here you may have certain allowances also, certain overtime also. So 21,000 is total. So there is the difference here. EPF, basic plus DA. Here it is the gross salary what you are paying. So this was it from my side in terms of, uh, I would say technical and uh, try to be a little non-technical and uh, cover the tax literacy. And uh, I am I, I'm glad that I'm here today and, uh, you know, spoke on the tax literacy part. I tried my best to, you know, to ensure to make you update about whatever the requirement is, not able to cover each and everything for whatever time available, but tried my best. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, you know, happy to be here and was given an opportunity by uh, Federation, uh, the FICI FLO organization, and uh, was able to share my experience with few slides. Still, if there are any questions, any doubts, I'm, I'll be very happy. Yes, please. For the businesses like the professional when should we collect the professional tax? I mean, we are paying 10,000 and above. Minimum is 10,000 and above. 
do we have to register for professional tax also along with PSA and EPF or whatever? Yes, actually professional tax, you know, if you have even a single employee in an organization, the liability for the organization is 2,500, that is the maximum. 30th September or before you have to pay for like 22, 23, you have to pay the professional tax for the employer, which is 2,500. An employee, there is a slab. Each, actually it is state-wise. I'm not sure about what the state applicable here is, but there is, if I talk about Madhya Pradesh, where I belong to, there the minimum is 2,40,000 a year. If my salary exceeds 2,40,000, then there is a um, 112 rupees, 108 rupees per month to be collected and for the entire year, 2,500. So there is a minimum slab below that is not to be collected. Above that, it is to be collected. But suppose if you have employees, but still as an employer, you have to pay 2,500 every year to the government. And that is before 30th September. So thank you very much uh, and was happy. Like I said, I'm uh, glad, but I've taken some extra time, 10, 15 minutes uh, of, of your time. We intend to finish by, I think, 2, 5, 2, 10, but I think it's already 2, 25. It started also late. So it's not you, our members voted a little late, and then your stacks were very tasty. So that's <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no. But I think it was, it was a good interaction. And uh, uh, the best part for a speaker, you know, that when you interact, and we ask questions. That means I'm able to actually deliver uh, the basic understanding of uh, tax uh, for whatever you are, uh, for reasons you are here today. But congratulations to you and your entire team for initiating. And I'm sure we'll have more programs on uh, specific uh, topics, which would be in the interest of uh, uh, the members of Federation. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now I request all the delegates and dignitaries to join for the lunch. Ready, ready.